When using any type of tool in Ornatrix to modify guides, after you select them and move them, they do not interact with each other, and most of the cases uh, you don't need to do anything else. However, in some cases you may want the guides or hair when you're editing them to actually interact with each other like they would in the real world. In Ornatrix version 4 beta we have this option and this is available inside edit guides. If you scroll down in the attribute editor, you will find the new collision resolution dropdown. And here you have the option of iterations, a damping and enable substeps. This will be off by default. The default value for iterations is zero. So when this is zero, nothing will happen and uh, moving the guides will not make them interact between each other. But if you increase this value to one or bigger, after you move them, the guides will actually start bumping against each other. And you know, if you move them like this or move them around, they will try to push each other out of the way and collide with each other like they would in real life. By increasing the number of iterations, you can get the guides to interact with each other more strongly and get a much stronger effect when you uh, move these guides. So uh, you can modify the settings and use the enable substeps option to get even more precise results. However, the more substeps and iterations you have, the slower the guide editing process will become. So in some cases, uh, if you edit the guides and uh, they start to explode. For example, if I turn off this change width option here, if I start modifying this, you will see that the guides just kind of explode all over the place. And the reason uh, for this is that the thickness of each individual guide is actually too big and they start overlapping each other. This is evident if you convert the guides into hair using something like hair from guides, you can see that the guides uh, are actually overlapping each other. So to fix this, I, I just add an extra change width operator before my guides to make them thinner and to make sure that when they're starting out, they're not on top of each other and they each have their own space to exist. So once again, if I have this option, I can just select all of these guides and uh, do something like rotate them. And when I rotate them, you can see that they are interacting with each other and creating this kind of a twist as opposed to just twisting all by themselves. This is very useful if you're trying to clump them or, or do some kind of a braid pattern or something like this. And because the lengths are also preserved in our guides options, we also get the guides to behave realistically and become shorter on the sides while the guides are in the center are longer. This is something really fun to play around with and it really changes in some cases the workflow of working with modifying your hair and uh, moving strands either individually or together in groups while at the same time interacting with the rest of your group.